Well, Mr. President, we have twice a month day. Can you better now? <laughs> yes. You got your different hat on. Oh, no. Mr. President, good to see you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Nice 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 to see Thank you for your help. I sure appreciate you. Well, you know, I understand that the goal this year is up 10% from last year. Yes, sir. Well, so my contribution will be up 10%. Just sort of like a cost of living. You said he was a magic That's right. I you say you might double it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> and a swallow. You're in trouble now. <laughs> you said he didn't own the ranch for the horse. I'm trying to find out where I signed it here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, all right. That's and it's... September 25. Two months to the day before we conclude the 86. And there's no sense in you having to wait for it. Uh, <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We had about a thousand people this morning. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Four hundred yeah. people. And they were very high and up being feeling good about it. It just helps. <laughs> Mr. President, could I just call your attention to our hundredth anniversary of the United Way of America I'm going to be held in Washington in April next year. Thank you. We'll let you know about the previous station. So we are privileged to have a hundred years old. We're going to have about 3,000 volunteers from around the country coming to Washington. Jim Roberts, uh, credit yours, I know, uh, will be working with the American Forest. Yeah. 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 Well, I just went over and spoke to that Congress, of the, as they call it, the Congress of Fraternal Organizations. That's right. Yeah. That they have been, this is their hundred that day. Right. Oh, really? There were a hundred organizations in that that have been working throughout the so we'll be uh, talking about it. Well, this is the world's greatest, yeah. he's the greatest advocate of volunteerism in the world, I think. So, uh, you made a difference. Well, he started with his own union. I think probably the Tokyo had in mind when he wrote about the country. Well, you know, uh, I'm sure you all know about how much uh, last year was a record. Almost $80 million. Eighty million. Eighty million. You know, when we cut the taxes, I mean, people said, oh, golly, now that the deduction isn't so big, why people won't give as much. Well, they gave more. Yeah. We're going for $50 million in Washington. It's a big family fantastic. That's great. We'll, we'll go over we'll go over 15. We'll 46 months. Yeah. 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 Bless your heart. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. much. President, I'd like to meet Bob Tisch. Yes. 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 Postmaster General. I know. Congratulations. Thank you. That's 740,000 employees. That's just about the biggest management job in, uh, there is in the land. But they, they're great people. They're actually yeah. great people. They so enjoy it to be, to be there and to run the show for them. Yeah. Now, uh, maybe there'll be some of them want to get on TV now that you're Well, you know, we have one other thing. My, my son is the producer of. Uh, he did risky business with his uh, soul man. Uh, son Ron is one of the actors in, uh, in Soul Man, which is opening on October 25th. Well, for heaven's sakes. Uh, Steve Fish is uh, one of the young producers. And I met Ron when I was out there in April when I was filming the film. Well, these kind of surprise me every, every day or two. It's something that. He's a good actor. He, he, he did very well. Steve, well. Steve wouldn't have used it unless it was good. And, and I think it could be a very uh, Steve was out in uh, San Jose to see it, uh, a sneak preview of it on Friday night. He said it could be very well, and uh, he thinks it's going to be very successful. 
Well, the thing is, uh, he was pretty well grounded. Uh, he surprised me. It seemed that somebody offered him a much more important part in something, and he said no. He said he wasn't ready to take on something that important. He would start with a smaller role, a smaller role, which I understand this is. And, uh, and then it goes along. We, we both have a lot to root for to see this old man successful. So. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you for taking the time. Well, good to see you. Nice. My pleasure. And the mail, we'll keep, we'll keep the mail running. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. President. Thank you. Help you go. Jerry, how do you do? I think I see you this soon. Yeah, I'll see you. Go. President Drew, how are you doing? Good to see you. Great to give us some. Well, listen, you know this was my. This whole organization was Jack Hume's idea. And this man came out and made it work. And, and, and I want to thank you for all you've done and all the help that was done. And next, and it was on Nicaragua Freedom Fighters and all these other things. And you were all out there helping, and, uh, and your name was suggested as a successor. I said, I couldn't possibly think of anybody better able to do that, that to take your place. Jack. I thought it looks like we're going to start together and finish together. It'll take two years. But well, I thought they were going to change the amendment. It was a possibility of a third term. It <laughs> goes that way. It not go that road along. <laughs> I, I don't think well, that could ever be done for the acting president. Yes. I think it would have to be done for whoever then comes along in the future. Well, your position is a good one. There's no reason why the American people cannot in the future yeah. elect a man of the choice. Oh, well. It's going, to be, uh, it's going to be fun being back into the issue when supporting you. It's, uh, I've always felt one of the things about being in Geneva, I always felt that uh, I had more impact when I was here than I was there, actually. So it's nice to be back and be among yeah. friends. God bless you. Mr. Thank President, you. one other uh, thing I wanted to mention to you. I'm, consider, I'm going to consider running for the Senate in 1988, and uh, I'm going to come in and ask you for your advice. And if I do it, uh, I'd like to... Uh, Get some very good advice. I've been in a couple of elections in a row. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. No. You're sure thinking of Norma White. Come on in. I will. Okay. You could use another Republican there, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Mr. President. Yeah, thank you for everything. Well, it's been my pleasure. It's been a work of uh, a joy. Every, every time. I did it. Hi, Mr. President, President, Jim uh, Dean, National Commander of the American Legion. Well, if you would, let, can I wear my cap, sir? You should. Uh, all right, sir. Uh, <clears throat> I appreciate you having me over, sir. Thank you. Thank you, well, sir. I think you know Tony from SIPP, yes, General yes, Counsel of the Veterans Affairs Committee. Hi, Mr. President. How are you, sir? Good, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. He uh, represents the American Legion here in Washington, D.C., and is the chairman of the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs. Works with us. Sir. Tony very well and very effectively, but uh, Jim uh, wants to tell you a little bit about the plans for the American Legion in an area that you're very interested in. I have a couple of things, but I want to <clears throat> quickly tell you something of interest. You and Ms. Reagan, of course, uh, have sort of set a pace for us. Uh, we're very interested, of course, in the youth area. And one of the things has been the uh, drug abuse that we have seen throughout the country. We have 16,000 American Legion posts. We touch about 200,000. 14 or 17 year old people on a yearly basis. And then you have at the gardens for the uh, Boys Nation and Girls Nation each year, if you're familiar with. And our plan is to work with a mobilization of our post, our departments, and particularly these young people who are now uh, coming through our programs. We've got many, many hundreds of thousands. Tom Brokoff is an alumni of one of our programs and many others uh, that we would like to activate. And we need a person. Uh, who would be able to get that little extra adrenaline going with our troops. Uh, I can uh, motivate or activate a certain number, but you and Ms. Reagan are people who our organization looks to and accept even more than just being president. You know, like, kind of like, like part of the family. Uh, and certainly, uh, this is one of our magazines very recently in March that featured you in an article. And this is the latest that uh, came out in August on the assault on drugs that we started. Their letters and resolutions to you and your wife, and we get their materials. And we'd like to leave this and tell you that we would like to be part of this program. And we would like to avail our people and our sources 
uh, it will not be costing anyone anything. It will be part of our contribution to our country, and we would like to do this for you, well, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for this, but to also thank you for that, because that's the way we envision this. There's only there's a limit to what government can do in crusade of this kind. Where it really is going to have to be is with the people out there, all the way down to the neighborhood. Well, consider yourself on board. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, this is a copy of resolutions for your staff, uh, many, many pages, and I know you're going to read this before you go to bed tonight. <laughs> which I'm sure you have staff. You like it? <laughs> Reagan is a little bit of a, a little extra with us, and there's a small token of our friendship. We appreciate that you would give her a church. <laughs> And we appreciate you working us into your very, very busy schedule and having me over today. And I look forward to another visit to your community for a little more time. All right, now just wait one second. A couple of little souvenirs, nothing to match all of that. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. He's in the family. Oh, yeah. And yeah. well, we share a house together in a while. <laughs> That's right. And I want you to know that. They have set this up with your staff, and I, and if it had not been for them, certainly maybe you and I couldn't have got together today. But I want you to know how much I appreciate them, and I appreciate working with them. Well, listen, and, I appreciate all what the region does and the programs that you have. Well, thank you so much, You've sir. You've always been there when you need you. When you need you. Like I said, if we invite you to come to San Antonio to my convention, which will be in August this year. And I'm sorry you weren't in Cincinnati. It was a good one. I got elected. It was out of opposition. The best way to run. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank sir. You. Thank you.